guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about this beautiful eyeshadow palette right here and uh, let's get into it. First off, uh, the eyeshadow palette looks like this. Uh, I think this uh, is a f it's from a collection that came out about 2-3 months ago. Like I think there were like 9 eyeshadow palettes or something like that. And uh, the only one that uh, really caught my eye, well not, not the only one, but the only one that was like more unique uh, was this one and uh, I have to say that I really like it and I'm gonna bring it closer so you guys can see better and uh, this is what it looks like like how can you not love, love that shade in the middle it's so beautiful and uh, let's get to swatching uh, the palette is called Ivy as you can tell by the name right over here it doesn't have a mirror or anything and this plastic is kind of scratched, but I do like it. Like I don't have anything against it. It's it's fine. It's it feels a little bit on the cheap side of the packaging. Like this is not heavy at all, and this feels a very drugstore. But uh, I love the shades, and I really do like the formula from um, uh, from Sigma. I don't know yet if I love 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 the formula but it's somewhere in the middle their mattes are really good also uh, these um, special type of a topper shade of shades actually not shades formulas um, it really good like really good uh, and here we have envy which is this beautiful green I have green eyes so uh, I recently got into green makeup and I have to say that I love how my eyes look and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm obsessed with that uh, and then we have bourbon which is this um, matte right over here that can can deepen up uh, any any look and then we have inspire which is which is a normal type of a of a shimmer if you ask me like it's not uh, too bold or anything but I really do like it like how it looks I'm gonna bring my hand, my hand closer so you guys can see better once I'm gonna swatch one more and this one is starlight I this this is more of a of that topper type of a of a shade but as you can tell these these are really pretty also, the color story looks incredible for for this time of year, if you ask me. And uh, yeah, these are the first four shades. And uh, I I have to say that I, this would make a great look, in my opinion. Like these four right over here, a really cute look. So watch it. I think right over here. So you guys can see the glitter better. Uh, then we have Mead. I don't know that name. It's pretty similar to my skin tone. Not that similar, but it would look good as a transition shade, if you ask me. Uh, and then we have Clove. Right over here, which is very dark uh, and then we have macaron and I think ma macaron ma I don't know I don't know <laughs> uh, and right over here which is more of a basic type of a shimmer but it's really pretty as you can see uh, and then we have well we, I can swatch with this finger uh, Tisto I don't know, it's really pigmented. Uh, and yeah, this is the entire eyeshadow palette. Well, that last watch turned out pretty bad, but this is the entire eyeshadow palette. The color scheme, the color story actually, not, not scheme. The color story is perfect for this time of year. Like, amazing. And that elixir, can you look at that? like the glitter and everything also I did my makeup at 7 a.m. today and it's now around 
8, 9 p.m. I think my makeup looks pretty good. Like I went to work and everything and it looks pretty decent if you ask me. Like after like 13 hours, I would say my makeup looks pretty decent. And uh, my eyes really do look beautiful. Like I, I'm obsessed with this look and uh, I used uh, the shade. Like this is not really a daytime look but uh, I made it work, like it was fine. <laughs> it was basically dark when I got up, so it was night for me. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm obsessed with, uh, with the color story. It's, it's everything. And uh, you would get really cute fall looks from this. Like, I'm sure that uh, anyone, like uh, even a beginner, like these are not hard shades to play around with. It, like, if you want to add more color into your, into your makeup, this would be a great uh, way to do that because it's not that intimidating. Maybe it's just my opinion, but uh, I don't think that, like, this is intimidating at all. Like, it's perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, you would have uh, a harder time blending this one right over here. But uh, other than that, no, not really. It's fine. It's beginner friendly. And uh, yeah, I think this is all I have to say about this eyeshadow palette. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get uh, any of the, of the other, like, seven, eight eyeshadows. I don't remember at the moment. But I, I don't think I'm gonna get any of those. I don't know. If I'm gonna do... Um, if I'm gonna end up getting uh, getting one uh, one of them, I'm gonna post it on on here, like for review or anything, or something like that. Uh, but yeah, right now I don't have uh, any intention of buying uh, buying another one. Uh, yeah, this is really pretty. I think this is not close, but it reminds me of the um, Huda Beauty Wild Obsessions palettes. Maybe that's just me. I don't know, like a little bit, like the one with the, um, um, I don't know, the, um, the green and blue, like similar, not similar, not actually similar, but uh, a lot less intimidating if you ask me, like you have your neutrals to do a cute look and uh, you would just deepen up uh, a look with the, with the darker shades and you would be good to go day or night uh, but as i said uh i did my makeup at 7 a.m and i wore this so it was pretty a pretty nighttime look but it was fine uh and yeah this is what i have to say like and subscribe see you next time bye